contrary to a lot of folks' perception, a denial of service attack isn't about cracking security. It isn't about getting to see secret data or getting to change secret records or things like that. It's actually really, truly denial of service, actually mounting an attack that stops legitimate users from accessing intended or legitimate services. So, for example, an email denial of service attack isn't about trying to see other people's email. It's more about preventing legitimate users from checking their own email or sending and receiving email to and from legitimate users. And it's done by sending an exorbitantly large number of legitimate looking requests for that kind of service or to that service or server in a way that the server or service can't really distinguish between valid and not valid requests, overwhelming the system to a point where it just can't handle the capacity anymore and either shuts down or becomes unusably slow. That's really all a denial of service attack is, just shouting and yelling and screaming, but in computer terms to actually stop things from happening that are supposed to happen. In a simplistic case, this is kind of a real simple example, but it works for all denial of service attacks. In this example, a hacker finds the target, in this case, Big Money Bank, and finds that there's a router on the front side of Big Money Bank that's connected to the internet. The hacker, during their footprinting of it, determines what kind of router, what it might be susceptible to, and then sends a large amount of traffic to it a whole bunch of spoofed packets, a whole bunch of legitimate looking stuff, tons and tons and tons of information to that router until the router simply can't handle all of the traffic and crashes or performance gets low, something like that. Some bad thing happens because the hacker is simply overwhelming the router with this traffic in such a way that the router can't distinguish between legitimate and non-legitimate traffic. The router can't figure out, am I supposed to discard these packets or not? Or even if it can try to figure out whether certain packets are legitimate and should be serviced or not, it can't do that fast enough. It can't actually keep up with the flood of traffic or the incoming information. So... If it can service it, maybe it can't service it very quickly and connections time out. For legitimate users, it means that legitimate users can't get in or super slow stuff is happening. That's fantastic. That's the intention of a denial of service attack. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple, straightforward attack. There are a number of limitations on a denial of service attack. Primarily, almost any device that's connected to the Internet today can typically predict or or pick up these patterns of, wow, I see one client just flooding me with traffic over and over and over again. For example, the router might look at the attack and say, I see normal traffic coming from all the other clients that are hitting me, except one client over here is just sending me a 100,000 times more traffic than anyone else. And that is something that routers, switches, DMZ host, Bastion host, pick up pretty quickly and either send up a flag so an administrator takes a look and hopefully prevents or stops the attack, or the device itself may resist the attack. It may shut down for a little bit and then bring itself back up, or it may block that IP source or subnet. It may actually do some active defense on its own, but at the very minimum, it's going to alert administrators, and the administrators can come and actually do something. Another important limitation is if you've only got one attacker mounting a denial of service against a single host or against a bunch of hosts, there's only so much traffic that that individual or small set of systems can actually pump out. One internet connection can only handle so much. It's actually quite a bit of a limitation if you think about it. It only really scales up to a certain point and most Internet services, most routers, switches, DMZ hosts, web servers, and so forth can resist really easily one host worth of traffic, no matter how hard they're trying. So really, the scale is the problem, and there's a way to overcome that scale. 